What's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. We have an Xbox today. An Xbox Series S. That's right. And uh, what's going on with this little Xbox? It's a tiny one. It's a very tiny board. I'm actually a little surprised. It looks like we have a bad HDMI port. Gonna have to check that out. First, we check out the old part with the new part. And uh, make sure that they match so we don't put on the wrong HDMI port. We don't like that. At least we try not to. But you know, mistakes always happen. So without further ado, let's check it out under the microscope. Hmm, surprisingly, all the pins look good. It wasn't pushed up. I have seen a lot of HDMI ports pushed in. But, oh, there's the issue. Yeah, that's not going to work. No wonder they're having issues. So let's take it off. Let's put some flux on there. And I hope everyone's had a good weekend. Hopefully everyone's been behaving. I know I have. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I gotta. We're going to put some low melt solder on there. Very nice. Just want to completely cover it. Completely covered in low melt solder. Because we want this coming off the board super easily. Now if you do not put low melt solder on here, a lot of times you're, you're going to have problems taking this off the board. Because uh, the factory solder that they put on is very, very hard. You know, it needs a lot, a lot of heat. What this does is it makes an alloy with that factory solder and it lowers that heating temperature so we can just pull that baby right off. Won't have any problems with it. So that's the whole reason behind the low melt solder. If anyone's asking, people are always wondering, especially me. That's kind of why I got into this business. Always been curious, always a curious mind. Okay, let's get that on there good. And make sure the, the ends that hold it on are really, really coated. Because those are, those are the parts that are going to have the absolute most solder. So we're going to need the front and the back. Just getting that left side right here. Finish up that one pin. Okay. Let's get, let's get the last anchor. There's like four anchors. I guess we'll call them. It's funny, I was showing my brother my videos and, you know, he hasn't seen any of my YouTube videos. And he's like, wait a second. Is that your voice? Is that you? I'm like, yes. Yes, it's me. Funny guy. I guess he's just not used to hearing me on video or... You know, I'm still relatively new on this. We're gonna get the other side, the other end. Yeah, it's always good to... Good to see your family every now and then. You know, I just flew down recently. The Southern California. Yes, that's how we say it over there. Southern California. With a very native English accent. <laughs> that was so cal. Uh, my hometown of Oxnard. Yeah, a lot of strangely the cowboys like to do a lot of uh, scrimmage over there. Yeah, cowboys of Texas. Yeah, make sure to get it all in there. Get it really, really good. So yeah, just a little shout out to my hometown. Of the Oxes of Oxnard, the Nard. All right, got that all in there. So we're gonna get our hot air, biggest nozzle. Don't forget the biggest nozzle. And right now I'm setting it up to max heat, max air. Always max, double max. 
and make sure that nozzle is the biggest because we want a lot of heat on that connector HDMI port connector yeah same thing still connector you see I'm putting my fumix director really close to it I'm trying to do something a little bit different here instead of showing you on the microscope I want to show you on my overhead cam just so you can see exactly what I do on this angle just a little different we change it up every now and then can't have the same video all the time yeah had a little bit of low melt get out of there yeah we'll clean that up right now Let's just focus on the port make sure it's all hot oh, it's coming off jackpot you see how hot it is? You see that smoke coming out from it? It's steamy. And yes, this has melted my keyboard <laughs> in the past. So, here's what I was talking about earlier. I was talking about this uh, low melt solder that it's like a rogue solder right there. And you got to be really very careful whenever you're working with low melt solder. See, it's still it's it's still molten. But you can't just have that there because it can short circuit something else. It does happen sometimes. I, at this time, I think I put a little bit too much low melt. Gotta be careful with that. So, wicking it all off, wicking everything off there, so it's all clean for the next uh, next port, good port, and get this. This Xbox Series X, this tiny board, to work. It's very strange how tiny it is compared to the Xbox Series X. So that's like two boards. There's like a big, do a big daughter board, pretty much as big as a motherboard. All right, enough of that. Let's put the new one on there. Yeah, it's pretty much as big as the daughter board, and it's a, it's like a Lego. This one was totally easier to take off. Out of the box, I mean. Out of, out of the casing yeah, housing Make sure it's on there put some flux then I like to use my 6040 you know I've been using 6040 a lot more lately I think that's gonna be my main solder I used to be I used to, I used to use a lot of 6337 but I think I'm kind of phasing out of using that it just doesn't flow as well and that's the biggest thing I love about using 6040 Kester solder is that it just flows like butter you see that there's no way I could do that same exact sweep with the 6337 I don't know why it's just like a few a few degrees off on the alloy how it's made but it's just for me it's perfect why change it right now we're just checking them all making sure that they're all nice and solid they're not gonna move on me and that's gonna it's gonna be great uh, for uh, for living on there yeah it's gonna be alive on there getting those joints up so you gotta make sure it's nice and strong still with the same same solder 6040 I could use the 6337 here but yeah why not yeah maybe a little later I'll try to use that all up and then uh and this will be just my main stuff. All right. Get on there. Get on there. Sometimes on the joints that are closer to me, I, I take it off the microscope and I just look at it, you know, with the naked eye. It's because I really want to make sure that it gets deep in there. Yeah, getting that little end right there. Sure, put a little bit more solder. Doing good, doing good. 
All right, some more flux. A lot of videos say you can never have too much flux, but you can. It's a lot. You have to put a crazy, crazy, crazy amount. The only reason why I would say there you can is because I've done it once. It gets makes the entire board all covered in flux, and you gotta ultrasonic it. It's just no way. All right, my joints are looking good. Let's get the back. Get it all in there. Do one sweep, and then I'll come back and touch it up again. There we go, let's touch it up. Make it nice and solder sexy. All right, let's clean this up. Let's clean out all that, all that ugly flux. And we're pretty much almost ready for testing. All right, this repair has been pretty good. Make sure you get those diodes right there. My little paintbrush. Gotta clean off all that flux. Ooh, very nice. Uchi mama. That is nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check everything with a multimeter, make sure nothing is making continuity. Because every now and then I can't see it, but there's like a little bridge hiding, and it makes you know it's like making two, making wires just join that shouldn't join, and that's gonna give us a problem. Actually, you could even we can even mess up a chip, and I don't, I don't want to have to change the HDMI timer I see on this and. It's just a big mess. So pretty much, I just always check it. It's just a force of habit. I know there's some people on that do the same job and they're like, ah, eh, you don't gotta check it. But I'm always gonna check it because I always make mistakes. I don't trust myself 100%. And that's pretty much what we do here. We make sure that we try not to make any mistakes. Don't inject power until we are absolutely sure that everything's good. Everything's working and we're ready to go. And you got a good product. All right, now checking all the ground. That's ground. That's ground. That's ground. I think over here. Yep. Yep. That's ground. All right. Perfect. Well, everything's working good. I checked it twice. Checking the list. Making it twice. Making it twice. Gonna find out if you're not in your nest. I don't know. That's a creepy song. He he will tease you when you're sleeping. Dude, what is up with that? Well, we got our port done quite well just make sure it's all nice and even it's not gonna go anywhere yes 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 Ooh. Mm. Yeah. this Middle Eastern music is kicking it I don't know what video game I picked I think it's like Metal Gear Solid so here we got the Xbox Series S ready to rock ready to test Let's turn on that power button. Ooh, we got power. Now let's check it out and see if see if it's gonna turn on. Go baby, let's go. Yeah, and that is what we do. That is how we fix it. Thank you everybody. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself, take care of each other. And have an absolutely fantastic night.